Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. What are you working on? I'm working on a sign that lights up. That's a small light bulb. Well, those aren't light bulbs. They're LEDs, light emitting diodes. Light emitting, that means it gives off light, right? Right. So isn't that what a light bulb does? Yes, but the difference is how they give off light. This is the most familiar type of light bulb, the incandescent bulb. It has a filament inside of it that, when heated using electricity, will produce light. An LED, however, does not have a filament. It creates light through a process called electroluminescence. But to understand that process, we first need to talk about diodes. A diode is an electronics component that only allows electric current to flow one way through it. A light emitting diode is made of different materials from a normal diode. If you look in our LED, you can see where the two leads almost meet in the middle, but there is a small gap. When electric current flows through the LED, some of the electrical energy is turned into light energy as it passes through the materials in this gap. That transformation of electricity into light is electroluminescence. Another benefit of LEDs is that they don't burn out like incandescent bulbs because they don't have a filament. While incandescent bulbs typically last 1,000 to 2,000 hours, which is basically a couple months of continuous use, LEDs can last tens of thousands of hours of continuous use. In other words, years. Basically, the circuit powering them will typically fail before the LED will. Over the years, making LEDs has gotten pretty cheap. So now they come in all sorts of sizes and colors, and we can see them in all kinds of devices, from indicator lights on our electronics to our remote controls to even the flash on our cell phone cameras. In fact, we can use our knowledge of LEDs to create our own gadget. Let's get building. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to make a pocket flashlight. For this, you'll need a three volt LED available at most electronics hobby shops, a CR2032, a size coin battery, pencil, ruler, scissors, and a piece of self-adhesive foam which you can get at a craft shop. Measure and cut out four one and a half inch squares of foam. On two of the foam squares, trace an outline of the coin battery. Fold the foam in half and cut out the circles. Peel the backing off both the foam squares with the holes in them and stick them to each other. Put the battery into the hole. Line up the LED over the foam with the longer lead over the positive side of the battery. Test it by squeezing the leads into the battery. The LED should light up. When done, pull the lead slightly away from the battery to turn it off. If it doesn't work, try turning the LED around. Remember that current can only flow through it in one direction. Peel the backing off one of the circles you cut out. Place the backing over the LED lead and the battery on one side. Peel the backing off one of the squares and use it to completely cover that side of the flashlight. Repeat the last two steps on the other side. To use it, gently squeeze your flashlight to turn it on and release it to turn it off. So this project is a basic primer on working with LEDs. So why not go out, buy a batch, and see what sort of things you can make? You never know what sort of things might come to mind. By the way, if you like making things like our pocket flashlight, make sure to come check out our Instructables Made in Your Mind exhibit. Open now through November 4th, 2012. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.